My name is Chris Lieben, and I've been fighting MMA for 17 years. I'm a coach here at the arena. I teach MMA, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, and, and of course the fight team as well. Driving back, the harder I drive him, the lighter that lead leg is. Pick up my single one more time. MMA is, uh, stands for mixed martial arts, and, and basically what it is is it's a, a, a combination, you know, whatever works. You know, you two guys go into a cage, one guy might be a wrestler, the other guy might be a, might be a boxer, and, and we're gonna we're gonna put these two guys in a cage, and we're gonna see what works, what wins. So the way you win is you knock out your opponent, or or you submit your opponent, or you win on points. Chris Lieben became interested in MMA at an early age, and when he got the opportunity to sign up, he took it. My brother was actually selling cars at a used car lot. Funny enough, turns out the world champion was training in the garage at that time. And I was already a fan. I was a fan through middle school. Um, so, you know, the next day I showed up at the, uh, the used car lot or the gym, whatever you want to call it, uh, signed up. And, and I mean, that was it for me. As soon as I knew there was a place to train mixed martial arts, I was there. I took this sport as a job. It, it was a full-time job for me and all my eggs were in one basket and it was very serious. Although Chris had committed himself to MMA, his opportunity to fight at the UFC level didn't come until he got a spot on a popular television show. I was on the first season of The Ultimate Fighter and The Ultimate Fighter is a reality show based around MMA or the UFC. You bring a bunch of fighters from all around the world, you put them in one house, and, and they're competing for a contract in the UFC. And, you know, it's a very interesting thing because, you know, one day you're sitting next to somebody eating, and the next day you're punching them in the face. When I got picked to go on The Ultimate Fighter, there was a selection process. They sent me in front of a camera, and they asked me to tell my story. Five minutes later, the door opens, the president of the UFC walks in, he says, cracking up laughing, he says, you're on the show. For the grand finale, um, they had all of us fight one more time. The winners of those fights ended up getting contracts with the UFC. Um, ultimately, I won my fight. Uh, I was able to get a contract with the UFC and pretty much fought a who's who of the middleweight division. I believe I have 23 UFC fights and uh, at that level, none of them are easy. And, you know, I, I stayed there with them for the next 10 years. Lieben's savage style earned him knockout of the night from the UFC four times. But during his decade in the octagon, Lieben struggled with balancing his personal and professional lives. I definitely had my share of highs and lows in my career. I would do well inside the cage, I would struggle outside the cage. I faced a lot of, uh, a lot of adversity, a lot of life issues. Um, I think ultimately fighting is what helped me get through a lot, of the, a lot of that suffering. And you know, I also think maybe I wouldn't have been as good of a fighter without it. When I retired from MMA, my, my UFC career wasn't going the best. Um, I, w I wasn't putting 100% in. I, I had a lot of struggles going on in my life that I was having a hard time dealing with and it, and it reflected in, in my career. Ultimately, I couldn't, I couldn't handle losing. If I could go back and change something about my career, honestly, there's a lot of things I did wrong. But, uh, you know, I think that those things are what got me where I'm at. And, you know, I, I've accepted them at this point. And uh, so I, I, I'd have to say probably nothing. Chris retired from UFC in 2014 with a lifetime of experience that he now passes on to the next generation of fighters. I've always enjoyed sharing my knowledge, you know, helping other people. Um, you know, hopefully help them, you know, get some confidence, lose some weight, pass the skills that I know on, on to them. Um, so for me, making the transition to coaching was kind of a no-brainer. You start, you learn, you start competing, you compete, you do well, and then, and then you turn around and you give that back. I particularly like it when, when I can watch the transformation in somebody. I can watch somebody that just walked in or off the street to somebody that can be a comparable martial artist and, and can perform well. I like it when I see people that I've taught helping other people um, and, and just continuing to, to grow and move forward. We've got athletes of all levels. We've, we've got people that just want to get in shape. You know, we've got amateur fighters, we've got pro fighters. I, I really believe there's something for everybody in martial arts. Getting in here, 
you know, breaking a sweat, learning some skills, learning some confidence, I, I think that's good for anybody. The secret to success in uh, martial arts, I think is getting back on the horse, you know? I think the people that do well are the people that no matter what, show up at the gym, you know? Uh, they go out and they win a fight, they're in the gym the next day. They go out and they lose a fight, they're back in the gym the next day. The key is just putting one foot in front of the other and not taking any breaks and eventually you're going to end up where you want to be. There you go. Nice.